Whenever Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in the news, it's usually because they quote, bucked tradition in some way, shape, or form. Here are a few of those times. Before they were even technically married, they marched to the beat of their own drum. At royal weddings, typically a senior clergyman of the Church of England runs the show, but not this time. At the historic ceremony, the royal couple had an American pastor give a sermon. The most reverend Michael Curry gave an emotional speech about love that left us all in tears. While the inclusion of Bishop Curry at the wedding was a welcomed change, we were a little salty that the couple didn't give us the traditional kiss on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Well, a lot of salty. It's tradition, Megan. It's a relatively new custom, but royal watchers have gotten used to getting a glimpse of a royal baby outside of the Lindo wing of St. Mary's Hospital. Meghan gave birth in a completely different facility and greeted the press with her brand new baby, Archie, days later when she was good and ready. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor is entitled to be the Earl of Dumbarton, but alas, he isn't. Why is that? Because Harry and Meghan chose not to give him a title. So, the adorable little baby is as normal as any other kid named Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor would be. For their first Christmas as a family, the couple decided to spend it away from the Queen and with Meghan's mother, Doria. Typically, the Queen hosts members of the royal family at Sandringham Estate. Minus the whole balcony kiss thing, we appreciate the down-to-earth royals. <laughs> 